The well-known Flareal client are releasing a V2, uh, which I'm pretty excited for. I've seen a little bit of it, but not too much. So I'm basically going to be checking it out for the first time together with you guys this video. Um, to get it, you can simply go over to their website, flareal.xyz. This is going to be linked down in the description below. Together, actually, with my Discord server, where you can find many more clients just like this one. Anyways, here on their website, you just want to download Flareal client as you usually would. Press on this red download button and it's automatically going to start the download. So now here as you can see in my downloads, I have Flareal right over here. So we can simply double click on this zip file and it's going to allow us to look inside of it. Then for this, we do want to select the Flareal launcher, which is this one right over here. Simply double click on that and then it's going to open up. It might uh, give you this little message here, but we don't need to extract all. We can just click on run. Alright, so here I have uh, the Flareal launcher, I've opened it up, um, and which apparently it has ads now. Um, I'm not sure what ad brackage they chose to be allowed to be shown here, but I am not showing this on YouTube. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so basically Flareal client here, it's just going to launch the normal one if we press on launch right away. So what we want to do is when we want to go over to settings over here, then we can enable this beta DLL right over there. There we go. And then save our configuration, return, and then click on launch. And now we should have access to Flareal V2 beta. All right. So here inside of Minecraft, it should still work the same as normal. No, it doesn't. All right, so it's not working. So I'm going to try to do it this way. We're going to go through here, then here, here, users, my user app data, then here I found the Flareal folder launcher versions. It's not in versions, Flareal launcher, Flareal client beta. There's the DLL. Let's see if we can inject that. And now it does inject. All right. Um, it just doesn't work when I do it with the launcher for some reason, which is odd. I've launched it twice now, and um, it just didn't inject the uh, the DLL. Not sure if that's um, my bad, but oh well. We've got it pulled up over here. As you can see, here it is. We can press on K, which is the default key. That's going to open it up. Um, it doesn't look that different from the original version, but it is quite refreshed, as you can see. Um, the... UI it jumps a little more at you it feels a lot more clear um, I personally definitely prefer this it's subtle but it's uh, really nice too we have a defined modules area over here um, let's see oh it still does that fantastic um, so actually there is a bunch of utilities here um, of which only the click GUI is going to be enabled by default, of course, because right it's open right now. Uh, the search bar here, you can search for anything, obviously. And uh, we have a settings area over here, which has been refreshed as well, as you can see. Looks a little different. Um, that's nice. Now, very big, there is a scripting area. So um, I don't have anything here just yet because I don't have any scripts, but Flareal V2 has a scripting area. That's just massive. And um, actually, I think the the uh, the HUD editor has been updated as well. So let's check that out too. Why can I not find anything? I'm not going to display my IP to you guys. Um. All right, keystrokes and my FPS. I can press on this button right up here and look at that. This has changed a lot. Really nice. So we have a little um tool tip over there, and look at that. We can move these around over here. And they even animate a little bit when you move them around. That's pretty neat. For the rest, there is snapping, as you can see. Uh, so that's really useful. Snaps to the side of your screen, middles. Um, they don't snap to each other, which is unfortunate, but oh well. So we can maybe put that there, put that down there. Pretty nice, right? That's definitely very cool. Um, then we can, of course, escape out of there. And that's going to get saved onto our screen. Uh, but... I think they also slightly updated the way that you're able to edit how these look. So as you guys will probably know, you can get head into their customization menus, which with the cog spins now, not sure if that was always the case, but we can head into here. As you can see, this has been organized a lot more too. It's larger than it was before. And 
Um, it's being sorted into more clear categories. It gives you a little less oversight, in my opinion, because I need to scroll a lot more to, to be able to see what all the options are. For the rest, it is very obvious, um, everything I can change. So it should be really easy to customize these now. As you can see, we can scale that however we want. And, um, well, it's really that simple, of course, if... Um, and it's it's going to update live, which, I mean, that's really all you need. That's just fantastic. Can I type here? Damn, I wish I could type, bro, because this is pissing me off. How can I put it to 0 0.6 again? Okay, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it. I'm going to leave it. Oh, actually, it's incredibly easy. We can just in, head into here and then reset it. And apparently it was 0 0.65 by default. Okay, well, who cares? So that's how you do that. Whilst I'm sending it today here, we can take a look at Flariel's commands as well. We can type dot help in here. And these are all the commands over here that Flariel has. Don't think this has changed too much. Um, just take a look at these when you use the client for the first time. It's not too big, but um, it definitely can still be useful. Especially the skin stealing, actually. That's cool. Oh, and also obviously the dot lua command, which uh, I assume is new because it manages your scripts. Yeah, so for the rest, I think that a lot has definitely changed under the hood. I know that uh, for at least quite a few of these utilities, a bunch of customization has been added. Um, just small changes that ultimately add up to, I'm not going to say the word again, uh, to more changes, a larger amount. Yes, <laughs> that, that that's about it. Uh, anyways, for right now, that was basically that. Definitely check this out. It's Pretty good. I like it a lot. Flare is just a W client in general, to be honest. But um, yeah, for right now, thank you ever so much for watching. And I do, of course, hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.